Shane, am I drunk? Or are we sitting at a kitty arcade? <laughs> nope. Don't got no space invaders in here. Please, can I have some water? <clears throat> you want a drink? Then buy one. <laughs> Your car break down or something? I just need a ride north. Well, I'm headed south. Try that fella. <sighs> Now, how's that for dumb luck? Excuse me. Are you headed north? How far? Hmm. Far as you'll take me? Well, I don't like hitchhikers much, but I'll bite. Who are you running from? And what have you done to piss him off? I'm just going cross country. I want to see new places. Must have left in a rush if you didn't bother bringing a bag. I travel light. And I travel without passengers. <sighs> what if we throw for it? Three darts each? I win. You give me a ride. If I don't, I'll buy you a drink. Two drinks? Ah, uh, what the hell. I'm bored. Twenty-seven. Your turn. All right. Mmm, not bad. I've played before. Ready for round two? Forty-seven? What's that? 25? Hey, slow down, Robin Hood. I want my free drinks. Final round. Stakes are high. <sighs> Ooh. <laughs> Hanging in there, though. For now. No rush, kid. Hate for you to mess up now. Did I win? You sharking me? I ain't got no patience for sharks. <sighs> oh. <sighs> Can I help you? I'm looking for an 18-year-old male, sand-colored hair. Connected to that motel shooting in Two Rock? Who's asking? Someone who is there. Shit. Fucking cops. Does this look like a place that serves 18-year-olds? <laughs> Go for it. I'll keep it busy. Have you seen him or not? His people killed my partner. He's going straight to death row. You sure you're a cop? You ain't dressed like one. I'm off duty. This one's personal. Yeah, well, I ain't seen anyone. How about you? Seen anyone underage tonight? Well, you look pretty young. Just answer the fucking question. Okay, let me think. Well, there's Shane at the bar. That big guy, Gene, who comes around for dinner. 
Kyle. Oh, oh, wait a minute, maybe it's Lyle. Did you see a teenager or not? No. I didn't say I did, but if I do, I'll call you. Or actually, uh, I could just call you anyway. Tell me the truth. You kill all those cops? Blow up the school bus? All that shit from TV? I don't want trouble. Shit, kid. You are the trouble. So did you do it? No. It wasn't me. Too bad. For a second there, I almost liked you. Hey! What about my ride? It wasn't a fair bet. Yes. Please state your name. Tell her it's Dean. Hello? I have a collect call from Dean. Oh my god. Uh, yes, I accept. I was wondering when you call. Vanessa, I need help. Why? What's wrong? I'm in Utah. I don't have any money. I've barely slept. Whoa, slow down. Utah? Are you in some kind of trouble? I had this argument with my brother. He said, well, it don't matter. But I left. I ran away. Shit. Okay. Do you want me to call them for you? I could try to- No. It's too late. I'm on my own now. Got nothing to eat. No money. Look, things have been shitty here too. My dad's convinced you were a drug dealer. He found an old bag of weed in my t-shirt drawer, and now I'm grounded for like half the summer. Seriously? I know. He's fucking crazy. Where are you now? Uh, Salt Lake City. Near the... Uh... The Sabrina Hotel? Okay, I'll book you a room. You can order room service. Take a nap, and later I'll call to check that you're... Vanessa? <sighs> you know what? I'll meet you there. Wait, you'll... Don't you have finals? <sighs> Screw finals. I'd rather help a friend. No. It's dangerous here. You shouldn't come. To Salt Lake City? I've been. 
It's weird, but it's safe. But are you sure? Don't worry about me, seriously. I'll book the room under my name. See you soon. Probably gonna regret this. But right now you're all I need. I know, Marlon. Two years sober and I can't even fall off the wagon in style. What's got you so... Hello? Who, who's there? Sharon! S -s sorry, sorry. You, you can... Uh... <sighs> Jesus! I finally nod off, and you try to bludgeon me to death with a... What, you bake now? You broke in. To my home. You left the window open. Bike blew a tire the first mile. I lost Tyler. Jay abandoned us. Been scrambling ever since. I just needed some place to rest. Take a shower, have Get a... Get dressed. You're leaving. Now. What? Wait, Paul! <clears throat> that motel, it was the best thing that ever happened to me. And now you and your goddamn sons... What we've done is unforgivable. I know. Tell that to Joyce. She lost her home, her livelihood, everything she worked for. You have to believe me. If I could turn back the clock... You didn't come here to apologize. I didn't know where else to go. I thought you'd be over the border by now. It all turned to shit, Paul. Time was I used to dream of you showing up in my bed. But this... Christ. Look at me. I've been living like a damn stray. Sleeping in ditches, eating from dumpsters. Last night, some hobo meth head tried to slice my belly with a box cutter. Oh, Jesus. Is it bad? Let me see. Don't worry, I can handle it. Sharon, you're all over the news. Tyler, I heard they arrested him. Had a busted leg or That's something. That's why he never made it. I waited on him as, as long as I could. I, They'll try to break him, but he won't give him the satisfaction. He knows what those sons of bitches did to Dale. My beautiful baby. All his life, they had it in for him. Sorry. But, Jay, at least he got away, right? I don't know if he's got the strength to make it. I pray he does. For the love of God, please let him be okay. All this for a few thousand dollars. Just enough to stop those thugs killing us. 
All because of Bear. Damn him. We both had dreams once, remember? I was going to expand the bar, make it profitable. And what about that coast-to-coast -coast motorcycle trip you always said you were going to do? Is this how you saw your life turning out? Always used to dream I'd find a girl, settle down. Then I met my wife, and for a while at least it came true. Until I went and blew it. So much for happily ever after. I get it. No one should have to be alone. Why are you even here? Talking hypotheticals. You're a wanted woman. You gotta leave. Get out of town. You know, Bear always said he'd take me away from Two Rock. Dante loved me for a while, too. Sharon, back then, everyone loved you. You once told me I always choose the wrong guy. Well, I was young and stupid enough to think you'd listen. And I was young and stupid enough to think I knew better. Should have been with you from the start. Be honest. You never looked twice at me. I always had a soft spot for you. Life just took us two different ways. You've always been a good friend. When those thugs showed up at our door, when I had no one else to turn to, you were the one who stepped up. Now, wait a minute. I if you're talking about... You knew we were sinking. But coming up with the code to Dante's safe, that was... I if I'd known what would... Oh, Jesus, I'd never have given... Oh, God. Oh, hell. I think we could both use a drink. Don't you? Every part of me is screaming, yes. But if I taste one sip of that... Paul, I'm so sorry. That was... I should have known better. Look, nobody knows your part in this, and I swear it'll stay that way. But, and I hate saying this, I need your help. Why does that set alarm bells ringing in my mind? Jeez, you never used to be this paranoid. Those bells are already ringing. We could both end up in jail without lifting another finger. But there's a way out for us. That book of his? I looked a bit closer. It's not just bribes. Dante's been taking money from criminals and funneling it into a single offshore account. <sighs> The cash in his safe, that was just his cut. The real money's in a bank in Belize. And the details are right here. No name, no ID. All a person's gotta do is walk in, hand over the password, and walk out with the money. Can't be me. They catch one whiff of me and I'm locked up for life, but... You. Then we expose Dante for what he is. Karma. Payback. Call it what you like. And by the time his world crumbles, we'll be long gone. Look, I know you don't believe me when I say we should have been together. But I say this is my chance to prove I mean it. You can stay here in Two Rock and drink yourself into oblivion. Or we can live together in paradise. You do realize, if we do this, we disappear. You'll never be able to see Jay again. That doesn't mean I can't help him. At some point, I'll find a way. You threw me a lifeline once. Now it's my turn. Come with me.
Please, Paul, just listen to me. I've listened, but the answer is no. I can't do it. <gasps> Expecting anyone? No. Hey, cuz, it's me. <sighs> Open up. Shit, it's Dante. Fancy seeing you here. You actually came. Well, you sounded like a lost puppy. Can I come in? <sighs> I thought you wanted to sleep. I didn't want them to have to make the bed. I took $200 from my dad's emergency fund, I also brought you a change of clothes, and tomorrow morning I can drive you to the bus station and get you a ticket to wherever you want. And then we're even, okay? Even? You don't owe me anything. Oh, didn't I tell you? I'm pretty sure I aced my history final. <laughs> Nobody's ever done something like this for me. I don't deserve it. Of course you do. Why? Look, you're doing something I've only ever dreamed about. Running away from everything. So if I can help you somehow, what's wrong? It's just, if you hadn't come, I'd have nobody now. You sure you can't go back to your family? Your mom must be worried. She ain't my mom. And my brothers ain't my brothers. They told me the night I met you. My real mom was some aunt. I don't know who my dad was. Oh, Dean. That must feel terrible. For 18 years, they told me a lie. Families are pretty good at that. Mine always was, anyway. Maybe from now on, family isn't the people you were born with. Maybe it's the people you choose. I saw that on a t-shirt. <laughs> it's a good t-shirt. Mm -hmm. That's not your room! Like hell it's not. My daughter's in there. Oh my god! How did he find me? You see this? That's my credit card that she used to book this room. Now. Open the door, or I'm calling the police. Dad? What are you doing? Who else is here? Did you fucking follow me? How did you- You think I don't get a fraud alert when someone uses my card out of state? Now, answer the question. What are you doing in a Salt Lake City hotel? It's none of your business. What are you doing? Is it meth? Ketamine? God, no. Vanessa, do you want to turn out like your brother? Living a secret life, lying all the time, until some cold morning you're wheeled into a morgue? Oh, sure, let's blame him for his death. He was hit by a drunk driver. At four in the morning, with enough shit in his system to kill a... You know what? No, I'm not doing this. You're coming home, and that's that. Well, can I at least pee first? Oh, do what you have to.
Vanessa! You're making a huge mistake! We need to get out of here. You mean together? Well, I'm not just gonna abandon you. Know how to start a car without the key? You mean hotwire it? Uh, Dale showed me once. But I think it's these ones. sound crazy, but I think my daughter just ran off with a fugitive. taking over. I told you it's cool. I love driving. I should have done this ages ago. Run away from home. We should keep our eyes peeled. Your dad's gonna be looking for you. He didn't see the car. And it'll be a while before anyone reports it stolen. So, you're really going to Canada? They got more protected lands than all 50 states combined, remember? I can fish, hike, live in the forest. Only thing is, how to get in. Well, my brother had a friend who moved to Idaho Falls. I bet he'd help us with gas money. Plus, he's really good with fake IDs. Idaho? That's a long way for you. I've got all weekend. We can stop in town for some clothes and call Todd from the payphone. Could you hand me my cigarettes? Uh -huh. <clears throat> I wish my mom had done this. Spread her wings before she couldn't anymore. What happened to her? Officially, the big C in her pancreas. The doctor said it was just bad luck. I say it's what happens when you spend your life doing what someone tells you instead of standing up for who you are. Your dad? He was tough on her? On all of us. I still can't believe he followed me to Utah. about you if he came all this way no he wants to be in control he thinks I have the same shitty judgment my brother did do you <laughs> I'm doing this aren't I I'll tell you one thing he must be flipping his fucking lid right now his little girl stealing a car what's the worst thing you've ever done in your life lie about myself to someone I like. What was the lie? It doesn't matter. Who did you lie to? I said it doesn't matter. Well, just don't ever lie to me. Your brother's friend. Huh? Do you really think he'll help me? 
I never said he'd help you, but he'll help me. <laughs> I said open up. If he finds me, we're both fucked. Tell him to go away. Stall him. Anything. I'm... I'm busy. Take your time. I'll wait. Come on, get your shit together. Coming in. Sorry. Hi, I, uh... What's with the kitty bike out front? That. Just fixing it up for Joyce's kid. Not much, but... After what he's been through... Right. Got some of your stuff they saved from the fire. Tools and whatnot. I thought you might need them. Uh, thanks. Jeez. <laughs> it's darker than a dungeon in here. Look, uh, didn't mean for that to become such a clusterfuck. Holtz opened a big can of worms when they stole from me. And if I don't get everything back, well, I'm just as screwed as they are. So, you got any, uh, plans now that the motel's gone? Or are you just gonna shut yourself away forever like Grandma did? Probably rob a bank. <laughs> Cuz, you couldn't hold up traffic. <sighs> oh, look at this little man-eater. If my Aunt Cletus gets a whiff of you, Oh, boy. It's me will be in the doghouse, huh? Well, you look like I feel. <laughs> uh, I bet we could both use a coffee, right? Uh -huh. Sit down. I get it. When I first joined the department, Sheriff Wilson assigned me coffee duty. <laughs> Had to make a pot every morning. Oh, that guy was fucking picky. Yeah, back then I believed it was about making a difference. But being a good guy ain't always so simple. Because when you got some crazy asshole and you can't tell if he's holding a Bible or a gun, what do you do? Hmm? Cuz, talking to you. you. You knew I was in the motel that night. Did it even cross your mind to ask about me? If you mean that I think it was a good idea to remind three bloodthirsty bastards that they were holding the sheriff's own cousin hostage, then frankly, no. I did not. You, uh, sure you're okay? You look a little jumpy there. Sorry. Wasn't expecting company. Yeah, guess not. So, little birdie told me you were at the station earlier. You talking to those fellas from the DA's office? Just, you know, asking what I could remember about, uh, about the motel and all that stuff with, uh, with the bus. They wanted your opinion on whether I'd lost my damn mind, didn't they? It was a lot of questions. I, I can't... 
Uh -huh. And what was your professional opinion? I said you did what you had to do. I did what any cop would do. Protect lives. I made a tactical decision. Mm. Those bastards were about to head to Mexico with a bus full of hostages. I fucking did something. Now the whole thing's turned into a pissing match over jurisdiction. Goddamn FBI involved. Even Becky hates my guts. Give those whole boys their blessing when they broke into my house. You know that? Oh. Hell, I'd do my best by her, but guess it'll never be enough. Hmm? No, you smoke menthols? Uh, trying to quit. You know how hard it is, though. Yeah. Once you let a bad thing get its hooks into you, it'll never let go. <sighs> Say, I never thanked you for getting me a discount on that office safe. It's the same model they put in the rooms at the motel, right? That's right. Yeah. That's funny. After those whole boys broke in, I, uh, I found a slip of paper with some numbers on it. Now, how do you think they knew about that factory override? You're not pointing a finger at me, are you? Dante, we're family. Oh, sure. Blood's thicker than water. Yeah, but one thing's for sure. Wherever Sharon Holt is, she ain't sipping margaritas on some tropical beach. Nope. In fact, I don't think she got too far at all. You know, I forgot how close you two used to be. I seen as we're family. I'm gonna make this real easy for you. Where is she? Long gone. I, I mean, she was here, but but uh, she, she, she she wanted money. I I, I refused, obviously. I, I should have gone to you, but then she said that if she got caught, she'd blame me. Say I was helping her. You son of a bitch! It was you. You gave her the call. No, listen, Dante. I I, I can. I... You look out! You murdered my son! <laughs> Drop the scissors. I am not going to jail. I'm not. You're just gonna have to kill me. Don't think I won't do this, Sharon. I'm taking you in to answer for what you've done. You and me both know that's not why you're taking me in. You! It was you! Where's my book? You have it. I know you do. And you ain't getting it. If I don't, I'm finished. Don't worry. I'll make sure all the major newspapers get a copy as soon as I've emptied the account. These people, you don't know who you're dealing with. Oh, no. Don't you understand? It's not my money! Paul, oh, how could you do this to me? She'll give you the book. We can do a deal, right? Let us go. We won't tell no one about the money. What? Paul, it ain't over yet. We can make it. You'll never get this book. I know she made you do this, Paul. Look, I'm giving you a get out of jail card here. Now give me the gun. 
after Nam, I swore I'd never hold one again. And you know that. Don't give me that flower power crap. Just give me the gun. If you listen to him, you're a fool. He'll put us both away. I know! You're in pursuit. Out. This shirt! You sure we fit in? Well, it's all we could find. Excuse me? Have you seen Todd? He said he'll be back in an hour. Todd was pissed when his parents wanted him to die to him. But his dad and family here, they have all kinds of money, so... This isn't good. There's too many people. Clover? What is it? It's for headaches. I think it's ecstasy. Have you done it? No. Have you? No, but my dad already thinks I'm a drug fiend, so what the fuck? Not for me. Thanks. One of us needs to be thinking straight.
Vanessa. Oh. You're the last person I expected to show up asking for a favor. Well, I'm full of surprises. <sighs> what are you looking at? Dean, what are you doing? You know this guy? So what if I do? We go to school together, in Arizona. Well, whoop de doo doo fucking do. Now get out of my room, or get out of the party. Dean, please. I'm all right. Buddy, she's asking you to leave. Sorry if that hurt your feelings or something, but that's what she wants. Be a good sport. Can't win them all. I'll be at the car. feel amazing? Dean, why did you follow me? I had that. You said he was your brother's friend. He was. But we also went out a few times. I didn't tell you because... I don't know. I just didn't. I wasn't even into him. But you wanted to be alone with him. So I could get him to help us. Which, admittedly, he didn't. But I did snag this. So, did the two of you... Uh, did you... Wait, are you jealous? No. <sighs> Why would I be jealous? Whatever. I asked him to find an old photo of my brother. And when he wasn't looking, I stole some cash. That's all. What about the fake ID stuff? He won't help with that. He wanted too much. How much? A blowjob. <sighs> Just forget about it, okay? He's a fucking asshole. But he's not worth it. I'll be right back. Dean! My party? And start this shit? Here? You started this. Dean, please, let's just go. <laughs> Dean, it's time to go. You're one jealous fuck. Well, guess what? She was mine first. That's right! Walk away! Fucking pussy! Are you crazy? Starting a fight with him? I know it was stupid. I just got so angry. 
He could have put you in the hospital. <sighs> Why did you tell me he was your brother's friend? Because I thought you'd get upset if you knew I'd gone out with him for a while. Apparently, I was right. He could have helped you if you trusted me. We should go find somewhere to sleep before the cops come. But tomorrow, we're done. I'm gonna find somewhere to camp. Don't follow me. Wait! We shouldn't go too far from the car. Ugh. Did you really run away from home? Or was that all a lie? Look, I need to tell you something. My name's not Dean. It's Jay. Okay. And I didn't run away from my family. They made me do something bad. I. I helped them rob Sheriff Romero's house. I didn't know that till we got there. But Sheriff came home, we ran, got holed up at this motel on Route 66. You're one of them. The family from the news. I didn't want to be there. It wasn't my idea. But the cops don't care about that. They're blaming me for all of it. People died in that motel. Not because of me. Are you fucking kidding me? I'm sorry. Maybe you're right. Maybe you should go. Because what I'm doing, crossing the border illegally and all, it could be dangerous. There you go again. Acting like I need protection. That's not it. I just... I can't face seeing you get hurt. A little late for that. Tomorrow morning you can drop me at a gas station. I mean, my dad's gonna kill me, but... I'll deal with it. First you lied to me. Now you're going off without me. You're more like your family than you realize. I'm not like them. Maybe I never was. If you say so. I'm sorry, Vanessa. I really am. Yeah. Me too. All units, be advised. The teenager seen at 1281 Elmfield this evening is the same one being pursued by the FBI. Consider him armed and dangerous. <laughs> 